An F test is a catch all term for any test that uses the F distribution. In most cases, when people talk about the F test, what they are actually talking about is the F test to compare two variances. However, the F statistic is used in a variety of tests, including regression, the Chow test, and the Chef test, a post hoc ANOVA test. An F test uses an F statistic to compare two variances by dividing them. The result is always a positive number because variances are always positive. And the equation for comparing the two variances with the F test is F equals the first variance, that's S squared sub 1, divided by the second variance, that's S squared sub 2. Both variances are equal, the ratio of the variances will equal 1. For example, if you had two data sets and they both had a variance of 10, then 10 divided by 10 would equal 1. You always test that the population variances are equal when running an F test. Therefore, your null hypothesis will always be that the variances are equal. Some general steps. State the null hypothesis that's the variances are equal, and the alternate hypothesis, the variances are not equal. You calculate the F value. Then you find the critical value for this test. There's various ways to do this. You can get the F critical value from an F table. Then you'll want to compare these two values. In general, if the calculated F value is larger than the F critical value, then you reject the null hypothesis. In other words, if this is your critical value and your calculated F value falls into this region, you can reject the null hypothesis. However, you'll also want to consider the p-value, which must be smaller than the alpha level you selected for your test. At an alpha level of 5%, a p-value of less than 0.5 indicates a significant result for the test. You can use all of this information when deciding to support or reject the null hypothesis. Assumptions for the F-test are that your data is normal. In other words, it should roughly fit the shape of a bell curve. And your events should be independent. In other words, there shouldn't be any interaction between the two sets of data that you are comparing.